Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network hot take. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen a hot take before, well, it's where a few friends get in the basement. We give our thoughts, we give our opinions on a TV show, a movie, or a game. Today, it's going to be a movie, and that movie is Alien Romulus. Here to discuss, as always, Waylon Yutani Zone. Chris Trio. <laughs> I did, Gooch, that's funny you know about my background. I You're did the sleeper. Work there. I worked there for about two years. Terrible company. Yeah. No. Internship? Internship, yeah. It was unpaid, did, of course. Didn't uh, last long. I yeah. mean, if this movie has anything to say, it would probably be awful being a Waylon Utani intern. Uh, but Gooch, yes. how's it going? How you feeling? You Good. just got back from a vacay. Back from vacay. Little late. Two weeks late. Right. Not... I was trying to do like a Trump thing. Right. No, <laughs> no, so two weeks late. Late, but not that late. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always uh, late. I know. So I guess we're no. yeah. I guess we're like a week and a half, right? Technically, or is it two full weeks? We're, I guess it's, we're two full. Well, we're like a day away from being two yeah, full I guess weeks. That makes but sense. we both saw Alien Romulus opening we weekend. I saw it night one, and then I fucked off into nature. Correct. Uh, up until two days ago, and we're getting this in before I go away again. Um, and I think I know what you're going to say, but I'll start us off, Trio. It's usually a little different. I usually throw it over to you, but man, was Alien Romulus a good fucking time. Uh, hell of a way to end the summer, you know, movie season. Um, I, I don't think anyone expected this movie to be good. You know, per se, I, I think there, there's all. I feel like there's always questionable. Way, there, it's always questionable, questionable with Alien. Yeah. Uh, since Prometheus, uh, a lot of people didn't like that, and then Alien Covenant, I think, is just kind of like, eh. Yeah. You know, I feel like a lot of people were going into Romulus with a similar taste in their mouth, and we were proved wrong. Yeah. I think when you do Alien, uh, this this kind of schema that's been done. You know, uh, you know, pl- six plus times, it can get a little stale, and you ca- kind of forget like what you can do with the movie. But you just approach it from a different angle and kind of get simple with it, and it comes out pretty good. Because if you think about it, this movie is just kind of like a a teen horror movie. You know, sure. in, in, instead in of ways, instead sure. of having like an adult crew with scientists or workers of some sort, we just kind of get like a different cast of people. And I th- and and I think the movie does follow you know the s- same tropes like pregnancy and stuff like that. Sure. But you know I, I think I had a I, I had a better time with this than Covenant. That's for sure. Yeah. Where are you at with it, uh, Gooch? I really I really hated. The- no, I'm kidding. I actually like really liked this movie a lot. Yeah. Bordering on loved. Uh, I, there's a few questionable choices in it for me. One glaring choice where I'm just like. I think there's a way better way to do this, but we'll get more into that in okay. spoilers. Okay. Uh, oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a yeah. certain character use, okay, uh, yes. which we won't go beyond that. Yeah. Uh, I really did enjoy this movie, though, Gooch. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought yeah. the settings or the sets were amazing. The effects were fantastic. I mean, those are just easy ones to call out. The alien looked fantastic. The practical. Weird, a lot of practical. A lot of practical. A lot of the practical. And listen, I'm not one of those people who are like... Eh, you we, can't use we, we call it don't when we use, see it. Don't use CG at all. Why are you using CG? I think there's a place for both practical and CG, and a lot of that those practical aliens were definitely touched up with CG. I mean, that's just you know how it goes. Uh, but the vibes were significantly awful, which I liked. It was scary, <laughs> like, and it just was like from the beginning. I just felt bad in a good way you know what i mean, I mean you kind of you kind of ha- and you can't not feel bad well especially with the way it starts out you I, I really like the way it starts out actually you follow rain i believe her name is yes and her seeming seemingly her brother she has right and you're you're kind of you're kind of you, you know, start off a little played, blind right yeah, yeah. it's uh, like oh brother right brother or and some, some sort of relationship they here. are getting they seem to be getting ready to go off world they've been working under this like almost indentured servitude for Waylon yutani and they've worked enough hours so they can leave and the the lady's like no your hours have been doubled actually uh you're sticking around sorry yeah and and, and, and they're fucked and sort of like in between that we find out that andy her brother is actually an android yeah and you know i Take this as a great assault. I'm just gonna 
say this as a way to describe it. He seems kind of like autistic. For sure. Like in the way he's Definitely. talking. And then it's like, oh, he's an android and he's a little fucked like up. Like a discarded android. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that sort of, and like it's an interesting way to like, again, what's what's the word? Um, like kind of shift things a little bit. I, I know you're not necessarily the, the, that. Is but it double Shift take? the dynamic maybe. Y- yeah, like, you know, we're presented with one thing and then we find out like very quickly, oh, it, it's it's not that. No, absolutely. Um, I, I thought yeah. that was a great reveal. I, I agree. And I think that actor in general who played Andy, I mean, basically played two, two roles. Yeah, And yeah. he fucking murdered it gooch give me his martian manhunter right now i'll take it but um <laughs> no he, he was one of my favorite parts I, but i i really like this setup of these people these kids stuck kids on this trying to escape home off this awful very you know they're trapped by in this kind of cycle thing. that their parents got caught in they're seeing all these old people just dying around them i like how it starts out and they're like if you're sick report to the sick bay because you know we're not meant to live in these places so people are getting sick all the time we just have to mine for resources, but a really interesting setup. They talk about this space station. They don't know it's a space station. They think it's a ship out in orbit. And then it leads to the kerfuffle that we see. And I, I really like that setup overall. And I, you know, I think it reuses some things from alien and like in, in, in a, some sort of member Barry's way, especially when we get to the casting stuff. But uh, overall, I, I just thought, the vibes and everything Gooch in this yeah. were spot on. And immaculate. Just ev- immaculate. Every little detail on the wall, weird buttons that don't do anything but just look cool. You see the the emergency phone on the wall from the game, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Fetty uh, Alvarez is our director here. I, I'm He did the, Evil Dead, the yeah, original remake. That, yeah, or like the, the remake from 2013. from 2013. Yeah, not the yeah. latest one. So he's not... I don't think this guy's a necessarily a proven element, but I think he is shown he is now. I think people like that Evil Dead remake, for those who really? like it. But okay. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I, yeah. I always see people bring up scenes from it that look pretty wild. Um but yeah, I, I, it is interesting to see him kind of come in and really take the reins here and really push it. Eighty million dollar budget, Gooch. That's pretty fucking great for how good this movie looks. I think it's uh, like similar to minus one. Yeah, around. The, so I would say it's probably at. I know its I budget was on everything. Million. I think it was like sixty. Interesting. That kind of blows me away. Um, yeah, that had a that movie had a really small budget. Yeah. Right. So they're probably sitting total budget wise because there was a good amount of marketing. I'd say let's completely double oh, yeah. it at oh, yeah. one sixty total for all in all for what they're did it, did it, did it make the mo- did it make I think it already soared past two hundred million. So I think it's R- right, but did it make its budget back weekend wander now? No, not weekend one, but it had yeah. a very strong weekend. I believe. I think it yeah. beat out Harold in the Purple Crown. No, I'm kidding. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I heard that movie blows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> I, real I really, big contender. Yeah, real big contender. <laughs> uh, I, I really do think Fede Alvarez like hit it out of the park. I, you know, I've I've seen kind of back and forth opinions on this online, and I I found myself kind of straddling the line here and there, but on certain choices for this. And there's like one line in particular that felt super out of place to me that get away from her you bitch yeah Yeah. and it almost felt like he was saying it like for us like he was like get away from me you bitch like he doesn't even almost know why he was saying it i don't know uh but if that's like the worst thing in your movie god i think you're okay so so this movie takes place 20 years after the original alien so it's Um, between alien one and two i believe correct yeah um, so Ripley is still in space. Right. She's still in cryo. Right. Alien isolation, I think, has also happened. That's a canon I game. I think so, yeah, yes. at this point. Um, so the ship we see is the ship that retrieved the alien that got blown out the airlock. I fucking love that opening scene, Gooch. It's like super silent. Ritually. And it's like, boo! Like the, 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 the score comes in. And I don't know... If it is a model, but that looked like a model work shot to me almost. Like when oh, it's the approaching the alien know. and it opens its bay. Uh, it's so good. So yeah, that is the original alien from Alien 1. All I right. guess it like cocooned itself in some like weird organic goo after it was blown out the airlock. So I've I've been uh, indentured in a lot of alien lore TikToks I love and it. reels and shit. And I, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to the aliens. Like... They, they like be, how they survive, you mean? Because I like the idea that. of it even like being able to survive like in like the vacuum of space. They're organically biomechanical. For sure. Yeah, they're biomechanical. Like, yeah, that's that's. I think that's... But like the they start thing. as organics. Like, I, I, like it's well, weird. The biomechan- like, but bi- that, a biomechanical thing is inherently organic. It's, or, it's, or, 
it's like a st- I I can't remember I don't know how I guess I would put it but biomechanic is inherently organic right but like they don't look that mechanical like a geth from Mass Effect is a biomechanical see I thought they're synthetic not a biomechanical isn't that like the same thing no so bio Biomechanical, I think, is a very specific type of style that like what got H.R. Geiger what is, created. Would a syn- synthetic not be biomechanical? I don't believe so, because it's completely computer-based, whereas biomechanical would basically be what the green ending is in, in Mass Effect. Right. Where every... you com- It's it's both. Right, yeah. Uh, okay. Whereas, like, a geth is completely synthetic, and, what, and, and it has consciousness, and it's an AI, but... I think that's how you so would the, distinguish So the only point up. I'm trying to make is I don't really think there's any rhyme or reason to anything that the aliens are, do, or, you know, like, well, they dude, just, no. every movie kind of iterates well, and Hold on, let's, let's and... walk through the very simple origin of the aliens. Okay, so there's goo on the Prometheus planet that then infects the man who gets sick. The engineer. Who then, no, no, oh. it infects the guy right, who the takes off bite. his... He, well, it's the one... It's the, the one, girl who fucks Shaw. Yeah, the, the, guy the guy who, who fucks Shaw, Shaw, who then gets sick, who then... F- impregnates his wife who then has a squid baby trilobite who, a trilobite that then face hugs the an engineer, an engineer that which turns into creates... a deacon and then david well no that's when the proto aliens born right the z the the that's the when the white is that the, what it's, it's called I thought, okay the proto aliens are in covenant and they happen from david's experiments and he kind of like perfected the alien up a little bit closer to the alien in alien one and then we get the proto aliens and then we're kind of and then for some they've just kind of at some out. point we get the, alien. the it, it's a very streamlined origin but also in prometheus apparently there is a mural of the aliens so i apparently they existed before yeah he, so so the black them. goo like they were trying to create their god i thought it was a bio weapon that they were going to send to kill earth it is but they were also trying to do that okay because i know the idea and that's i think that's I mean, what we'll get the, to the Prome- is we'll get to the prometheus of it all soon but uh i mean we the, I, the black goo itself may all right we'll go full spoilers here the black goo making a return i did not expect when it kind of turns I into a lot of the prometheus stuff did. i i didn't so, hate it at all so I theory didn't. sure and I noticed this in the movie. Tyler's a Waylon Utani deep deep agent. Which one's Tyler again? He's the one leading the whole thing. Oh. He knows a lot about guns. He know he uses military hand signals and they even talk about how do you know how to, why are you doing that? Mm. Eh, thing, you know, movies. Sure. Uh, how do you know how to use the gun? Video games and magazines. Well, but see that the vi- the I actually I didn't believe it. that though, because like you know, though, because I, I actually hated he, the he idea. He knows what to go for. He seems like very in the know. Uh, Interesting. I think a- uh, Waylon Yutani sent him to get the black goo. Interesting. I I don't get that vibe, but I can see how you could make that connection for sure. He just I actually, he just I, seems to be very knowledgeable for like. I felt like they felt weirdly him. so, and they, sure. and they pointed out the characters are like, "Why do you know how to do this? Why do you know so much about guns, Gooch?" From what? From what? Video games. Yeah, the, but we see the kind of video games he's playing. They're playing like you know, like eight sure. big SNES games. Right. It's like it's a bit, everything's it's on, a bit still on a CRT monitor and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. I I think I can accept that as it's he, an interesting like, theory. He he. I I think it is. But I think I can accept that as he is an enthusiast and gets these magazines and stuff. And even like I felt like there was a a rush to overexplain things like. Okay, how is this girl gonna know how to shoot at the alien? She's never shot a gun in her life. Oh, it has auto aim on it. You see, you just stick it up. Well, here that's and from it... Alien. Aliens. Is that actually? Oh, really? I yeah, didn't know. The so Colonial Marines I've only use seen... guns like that. I know, but that, that that lock on specifically like that. I think so. I didn't think so, but I might be. I mean, I know they use like assault rifles, but like well, the like yeah, the, the auto thing aiming like, thing. I didn't realize that was it, part like, of other it movies. It also like disables recoil. I yeah, will say, I'm pretty confident that that's a thing. I've only seen Alien and Aliens. I haven't seen, I haven't seen three or resurrections. In a long time. Uh, I haven't seen three or resurrections. There even either. is. I mean, there's there's a bit of everything in this movie apparently. From what because I did watch uh, Mr. Sunday movies did caravans of garbages on all the different alien movies and I mean there's an alien human hybrid in Alien Resurrection. She's like a clone and that's yeah, like yeah it's set. called the Neo. It's so terribly sad looking. Uh huh. Yeah. And that's set like 200 years in the future, I think. Yes, it gets um, wild. But. I do think that they did an interesting job overall. The only major issue I really had 
that just was tough to I, I kind of settled into it after a while was Ash. Yeah. Because I thought it was So it's not Ash, it's Rook. It's a different model right, that looks like him. Yeah, it, yeah, that's his 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 skin they used, job. E, they got Ian so No, they didn't yeah, they, they got they his got permission. They got his his permission his family's permission. I did read up on this after because that really does kind of inform how I feel about these things sometimes to a degree where, especially if you're bringing back a dead actor. Yeah. And Ian, Ian Holm died, I think, in like 2020 or I think so. So I had read online that like his family seemed to be very enthused to do this because he had even felt like he didn't get to act as much as he would have liked to in his later life or something like that. So they were very excited to be part of this. So that's very cool to hear. I can't really speak to anything past that. Apparently, it's a real voice actor doing his voice, which blows me oh. away. Really? I really thought it was like an AI deep fake because he sounds exactly like it's almost perfect. Yeah. Um, but I just think they overused him. And there were parts yeah, where it I, almost... I think that was like the remember alien, you know, kind exactly. of thing. Like that was their moment. And I was like, I didn't expect to see that. And I was kind of surprised. And I'm, you know, because like we see the android first and it's like he's like cut in half and he's in the dark. And I was like, really oh, know. it's Ash. Cool. We saw him. Like I thought that was going to be or the maybe it was going to be like David or something right. like that or like Fastbender. I guess. Um, sorry. But I, I was kind of okay with it. I think it made sense because I think the Romulus Remus station they're i guess exploring the black goo is from your covenant era like once they found that shit they made this station where they're experimenting on face well but he seemed to reverse engineer the goo out of them they didn't find the goo he he was trying to create something that i see this this idea i actually like I like the idea how he's talking about humans. They cannot survive space. They are not made for space travel. A big part of this movie is that they are trying to get to another galaxy that they need cryo for because it will take way too long. Right. And never that's, the whole, that's the whole point of going into this space station. We need, we the need cryo these cryo juice twos. to get the cryopods working so we can go to that planet. Exactly. And I think that that's a very interesting idea to explore. In very this, simple. Concept, very simple. Yeah. And... This idea and, and that we're humans up and going are, quick, right, right, you know, right. Within like thirty or forty minutes, we're taking off and we're going to the space for station. Sure. Like it doesn't linger on, on the planet. I think it lingers actually just enough, honestly. Like it gives me just enough down there where I'm like, this is awful. I see why you're going up to the space station. Cool. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Um, no, you're good. Uh, <clears throat> I, I do like this focus on humanity not being fit for space travel, and this idea that the the aliens can are Give so Dune vibe. are so perfect that they can even survive in the vacuum of space. They'll they'll like go into this self like hibernation mode almost, and they start to experiment it. And it seemed that Ash or De- I'm sorry, Deacon is this one, Rook Rook, uh, reverse engineer the the Prometheus black goo out of the aliens. And he calls it like this almost biological building block for life. Like it's like it 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 it, it evolves you. And right, I mean, where humanity in Alien comes from the black goo of an engineer. But it does, I guess. Yeah, because yes. that's what that's what happens at the beginning. Again, he plants, this is why he plants the genetic so material. I like. Pr- I really am back and forth on Prometheus. I gotta coach. rewatch Prometheus. I think that there's some really interesting and ideas. And all the extras. Absolutely. There's <laughs> some really cool CGI like uh, walkthroughs in that. Um, breakdowns, I should say. But I, I really think that the idea that he was going for Ridley Scott was interesting in exploring the origins of life and like who creates humanity and, and David being an android and us creating life in our image. And that one moment where he's asking, or, or and I'm sorry, who's Fastbender's android? David. David's asking the one guy. He's like, he's like, why did you, why did you make me? Or he, he's sorry. asking you, Waylon. No, the guy who gets infected, who fucks Shaw. Yeah, they're having a conversation, and David's like, well, why do you think they created you? And he's like, well, why? And then, and then he asks him back again, uh, well, why did you create me? And he's like, because we could. And then he's like, well, imagine if they just tell you that. And he's like. Oh, that is kind of fucked. Like this idea of exploring that is very interesting to me. And I think you have to go somewhere different because all the alien movies are just Ripley waking up in a space station, stressing about alien things going on. And then everyone being like, no, nothing alien is going on here. And then alien things happen. So I I, I appreciate him going in another direction, but I think it just gets so muddied and I don't get enough answers by the end of that. Whereas I, I do think that, this does a good enough job of, of working with all of that information mm-hmm. and, and, and going backwards from it, especially with where we end up by the end of the movie. I really did not expect us to get this whole, I mean, almost fourth act with uh, the goo 
man. But um, the is, there, man is there anything you want to get to before that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there, there's a lot. Um, I, I, I'm kind of all over the place. I right think no, Navarra or Navarro, like, is like you know, like we always have like a girl with like short hair or like that kind of like look in these movies. The buzz hair is that? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's the one who gets infected first. And I think it's kind of interesting. Like you know, they like you notice how in like Alien One, like when uh, what's his name. Jace, uh, the guy, guy who gets the face hugger in yeah. the first one, and they kind of leave it on. Yeah, because well, they try to get it off, right? But they realize it's acid, so they can't. They're like, we can't do anything. No, I mean the first alien. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, they yeah. try and like cut it, and then and like, they leave it on for a while, and in this, they kind of like, okay, like how do we get it off? And like you know, you know, they're they're very quick to get it off. They like they're, they don't they're interest. Li- I, I like the idea of coming up with a different way to get it off. Right. And then even that moment with, with the, Rook, with and they're the, like, "What? And what chances does she stuff. have?" And she's like, "He's like sixty forty bad." But I will say, speaking to the face huggers in general, I think they did a good job of making them super uh, intimidating on their own, just as like this horde almost. When that, that really, scene, you weren't intimidated by just one. I I th- no, I was. I think they did a good job of 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 just coming at it from a different angle, even in this. Like this, that that scene, that hallway scene is is rather. Do you know the tough. myth of Remus and Romulus? Do you? I I feel is it a Greek one, right? Uh, Roman. So Roman they found name. Rome. The, right. They're like babe, two brothers who were like, I forget how they got lost, but they were raised by wolves, and then they eventually found Rome. So the idea of like they're the building block of like the empire. Interesting. Uh, so, like, that's sort of that's the actually idea. cool. Yeah. yeah. So they're like they're you know the aliens are found, and then like you know this is the building block of humanity. This is the next step, right? right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is so, cool. So that's, that's actually that's very the cool. idea because like you know and they, and again it's interesting that like you think about it like when they go up to the station nobody stops them nobody asks questions. Well, it, it seems, seems completely like, like they've just let it go. W- again, if if Tyler is a Wayland Utani agent, it makes sense the fact that they just let them go up. Nobody, you know, nobody stops them. They get up like pretty easy. Yeah. It's like and it's, I don't think it's a plot hole. I think it is just part of the plot. Like, right. hey, like they know they're going up there and they're going to use them to get the black goo. Whether Tyler lives or dies, it doesn't really matter. Sure. As long as he can get the thing off the ship. Um, you know, and they go in the ship and they get stuck in the cryo pod area and they shut the cryo off, which releases the face huggers. And then that's really where shit hits the fan. Um, dude. And the minute she picks up like the thing that she can see through, I'm like, Oh great. It was a good- <laughs> like, great. It's going to be gross. I love some wild futuristic technology that is just like thrown away and never addressed again. Honestly, sometimes in a movie, it's I mean, fun. it makes sense why that shit. Oh, absolutely. Had why that would too. have it all. It's like, all right, yeah, let's we're going to look, we're going to look for parasites. Yeah. Uh, Great tech in this, just overall. That's just a great example of, I feel like these guys really knew the universe they were in. That feels like it existed in that universe. It doesn't feel like they just plopped right. it in there. And, and it is interesting that they started to go like, we're going to go back to the ship. Where, where Prometheus and Covenant don't do that at all. We're not just on a ship or a yeah. space station. We're like all over the place. I also appreciated that no one was making the dumbest decisions on Earth in this film. Like that's my major Covenant. I don't mind. It's just the utter stupidity of people within that film that really bothers me. I feel like people are written stupidly to a fault. We and yeah, uh, uh, Isabella Mercad is the girl, the who's pregnant, pregnant one. Yeah, like as soon as she says that, I'm like, oh great, she's pregnant. This yeah. is gonna get gross. <laughs> and it does, man. It does. Yeah, I mean, and the part where she screams after Navarro, uh, the the alien pops out of her, ch- and it's like a, it's like it's not fully formed, right? It's like it's like from the first one. It, it's where it's the like the embryo looking one that's just like almost like a worm looking thing okay, that just yeah, kind of yeah, pops out. Yeah, yeah, like and she that scream it's and good. Then as the ship like you know they try to take off and the ship like just fucking falls she should be dead. But it's back okay. in the station. <laughs> yeah, and you know we get a lot of action and stuff and like you know then uh, we get Ash's chip put into Andy and that makes him change. I really thought that was like you know you brought it up earlier, but like what an awesome idea to like. We have an android or, or a synthetic who, you know, is a little bit slow, we'll call, and is a little bit of a, well, like a simpleton, you know? No, but, definitely. And I, know, yeah, I think that's absolutely telling what Telling dad the- jokes, not supposed to be, like, you know, the, the sharpest tool in the shed here, and then becomes this, like, all-knowing creature, and he knows just what to do and how to do it, and he's, he, you know, he's prioritizing, like, the company over What's the new directive. And the yeah, people, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it's really interesting, and I, I, I was really compelled by what he was doing. I agree, um, and their just relationship in general, I got to say, was very compelling. They, right. they felt like they were, like, you know, a compelling duo in a lot of ways. And they felt like they like they already lived in, you know, set of humans. They didn't mm-hmm. just start when the film started. Uh, I, I do think, you know, most of the cast overall is, is pretty forgettable. Uh, yeah, uh, no, and, I don't, you know, I, I would challenge you to say I don't really think the point for them is to be memorable. Maybe besides Rain and Andy. I think the one guy who just annoys me too much and Bjorn. it's on purpose is the du- is the British Bjorn. dude. Yeah. yeah. Like, and yeah. I get it. He's poking You're supposed Andy to almost from the hate, beginning. Yeah. yeah. The unlikable You're, one, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I almost think those are a bit of a cheap out in certain horror movies. I'd rather you make someone I, I kind of like die because I feel like it hits a little harder. Uh, and I don't know, he was just kind of unredeemingly an asshole. I get it, an android chose to, to kill his mom, but it was 12... How does he ver- die again? He gets there was like a mining accident and then the no, android... No, no, not, not, the, not, the, not the dad. The mom. Um, not, the, the, oh. n- not the parents. Oh, Bjorn. He gets like frozen at one part. Like they try to get the pods out and like... It freezes his hand or something right, like that. Right, but then so they and then run. He gets killed by an alien. He gets, he gets killed by the alien. Yeah, steward, it was the, yeah. the vagina egg on the wall. Yes, uh, the vagina egg. Yes. It was by the another great practical effect, and also another layer to their like physiology that I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. So they are this weird little worm thing, and then they have to gestate even longer in a big egg to become a full alien. The way its head comes out of the fucking egg and everything, mm, Geiger would be proud. He would be. It looks so good, night. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at the old alien designs. I don't remember them being as translucent in the head as this. No, there's some designs. They're very that are. cool. Not I, all, I, I not like the it. original. Yeah, but yeah. Are, I, I like. It I a think lot. from three, they have like a translucent head where you can see the skull. See the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Interesting stuff, man. Yeah. I, listen, I, I I really adored this movie. I really did. I think they did a lot of interesting things to bring in the Prometheus of it all too, and those more side stories. Especially with the black goo. Do do we want to talk about the black goo pregnancy? We can talk about the black goo pregnancy. Yes. That fucked me up. I'm not gonna lie. That There's was the, the one scene. Dude, the baby in the alien egg. I was like, what? The See, it fuck? looked, but it looked kind of normal. Human. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it looked normal. normal in the in the egg. And then I'm like, what is this thing gonna look like? And like, she's following it around. I, I had thought they were saving that for. The, I thought that was set up for the next movie. I, I didn't expect it to yeah, like kind of like, pop off at the end. Like there. it feels like it's gonna end like once you know that like Tyler sacrifices himself. They, they get off the station right, and they she, take she back control the with the gun, and then like okay, everything's right. settling down. She's putting Andy down in the chair, and she puts her into cryo. Right. Yeah. Rook's kind of like you know fuck him. Yeah. They just disconnect, and then, and then this thing happens where she's in the pod right she's in cryo and the baby's yes born. and well she starts like things her bio signs like start going right, off right they open what... it up and then that's when she pushes out the egg oh my god and then she's like get oh it away god. get it away and then that's when uh rain picks it up and throws it into the cargo hold uh she follows it down finds an empty egg filled with acid i wonder if that's going to be used for anything uh and then we're just kind of like finding we're like where is this thing what does it look like and then you come upon it when it finds the mom again, right? When it goes back to her. Is that when you see it for the first yes, time? Yes. Yeah. Which, when she's on the ground. Yeah. What? Like, we just That's see That's a like, real dude. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's not surprising. They probably like the thinner parts, they CGI down. Just. No. T- he looks like that. Oh, like he's Have that you seen t- him? tall and lanky. Oh, I'm sure. That I makes sense. Show you this. I'm sure. Keep going. Um, but he's just this awful engineer crossed with an alien. And human, he's this tall, terrible, lanky man with an alien tail and, like, the weird protrusions on his back. And he's got, like, this terrible grin when he smiles and he looks like He's a basketball player. That's what he looks like. Oh, my God. That makes sense. Yeah, he's, yeah. Awful. Great design. Like Awful his, in his a terrible neck. way. Yeah, it's super. <laughs> he looks weird. He's a weird He's a weird, guy. lanky looking dude. But he he looks like and like I've seen like he it's weird it's weird like he looks weird it's so very this unpleasant thing looks weird. and yeah. it, and like you know Rain's running away and he like looks at the mom and like you don't see much of it you get like a glimpse of it but like he's doing some like he's like not like attacking her but he's like doing something to her and like his like little mouth like it, it cuts to him and it's his, his little tongue, mouth right? is is that what it, I think so yeah. is like coming back in the little and then mouth like, is his tongue and he killed. 
he killed her, but like we don't know exactly. No, what I don't happened. think he kills her, does he? I assumed he did. I should say, but it, just an awful. I think scene. I thought she just oh. died from giving birth to that fucking thing. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Oh, ter- but it's it's interesting to me that nothing happens to her. Rain? Yeah. No, the mom, because we see the the rat that gets changed with it eventually when they leave the room. It like like morphs into this awful like looking alien mouse rat uh but nothing happens to her only to the baby which i guess is just because she's pregnant i guess that the pregnancy takes all the black goo maybe i don't know and also it's been a few weeks since i've seen it so some some of it's a little fuzzy oh I mean, sure sure like sure too. uh um, it's funny it's it's pretty that seems like, pretty fresh like, in my she mind die? she does seem to be dead to me yeah um, yeah, no, yeah but like what kills her we don't know we it just cuts back to him like holding her and it's like and he's like sucking his tongue back in or whatever and like yeah was he breastfeeding Ugh, i don't want to know yeah uh, that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying terrible images that it spawns in your mind but like the the fight between rain and the and the human xenomorph is like i'm like i wonder if there's a name for it fuck this thing shoot this fucker out the airlock now i'm not gonna lie i haven't had trouble sleeping in a while after a movie <laughs> and serious? like this definitely i was just like i just was thinking about it a lot i was like oh that thing is terrible look because it's a very like the head is just basically an engineer face right i mean like in more a way. or less um it's so hu- i don't know hum- it's a, more human i don't necessarily get why giving it the goo gets it back to more like gets a human baby back to more engineer features is that because they're like the perfect organism for space flight? Because they've obviously mastered space flight and stuff. And hey, yeah. dude, guess what? I would love to know what they I, were. I about. think. Th- I think the. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like we just David I, just kills them all. Uh, I think the black goo just kind of like shifts your DNA for you to be like more survive, like for, to adapt like to for, survive. Yeah, and that ends up being you making you more ferocious and like a, like a monster. I don't know. Yeah, but so it, in a way, like engineer. Right, engineers are more fit for space and fit, yeah. fit for survival than humans. So it makes sense that us going up that chain would maybe lead to them. Maybe they just created like us a, as a lesser, like us looking like them because of their features. Because obviously their features make them able to survive. Maybe we know. shouldn't have killed Jesus Gooch, who was also an engineer that Ridley Scott mentioned in an interview. And yeah, that's why I was they like, hate that's, us. That's canon, right? It technically is. Apparently, Jesus was an engineer, and we crucified him. So that's why the engineers hate us. I guess he was a pretty normal-looking engineer. No, I probably. I mean, they don't have pictures back then. But why? Why? You know? Yeah. Why the whole look that they give him in the in the? I was about to say the lore. <laughs> it is lore. <laughs> it's lore. I know. It just feels technically wrong to apply to religion. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? Oh, that lore. <laughs> yeah, like... I mean, l- you know what's funny? Lore is like a word people don't use, but it seems to be a word that like the gaming community adopted to talk about game history and stuff. Well, and I think I think lore is... But it is like a... It's a term. It's just... Yeah, it's it's well, history. Lore, it's what well, it means. It's, it's, it's fictional history, I thought. It was like... That's is that, literally is what, that really it? I really thought that's what it was. Lore um, definition. It might not be because there's like, you know, there's... there's a body Nordic of lore. traditions and knowledge on a subject or held by a particular group typically pass on... Yeah, it's just history. It's yeah. just another word for history. Uh, But yeah, just a terrible, awful design that looks great. And and is yeah. and is appropriately unpleasant. Uh, but again, I just wish there was a little bit. I don't need you to like spell it out for me, Gucci. And then she you know. and then she gets enough cryo to go to the galaxy, right? I think so. Yeah, and she gets. Because I remember they all had like only two years, so they wouldn't be able to get there. Then that's why they had to go deeper into the station to get the cryo fuel, and that's where the guy freezes his hand. Uh, Right. What and did the, you think about the spinning acid set piece? I actually thought that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Like just a the cool use of gravity, which mm-hmm. they kind of intro in the beginning of the movie when they first get in there. They have to turn it on. Yeah. Um, and then you know they have to you know turning it off. And then the gravity like cycles after to like after a while in a derelict station. Yeah. Cool stuff. Again, just like solid. What thought about, process? What about the Andy stuff toward the end? I mean, we talked about the get away from her, you bitch line. But yeah. Not that uh, no, really I thought it was anything. fine. I did think it was a bit of a weird. Because he kind of like turns back. Yeah, he's like, right? he's, well, because she, takes... she gets, he gets all fucked up by like an alien and like apparently removing the chip fixes that for some reason. So she allows him to do that or he allows her to do that. It felt like a kind of weird. Um, 
what's the word like resolution to that i don't know right because then uh rook is like you know follow your directive and like hey jk mm-hmm. i'm not doing that bitch yeah, yeah. and again see ya. <laughs> see rook, gross don't, guy. Yeah. I just wish they used Rook a little bit less, Gooch. That's he really is in it. a lot. And there are it's, scenes where he looks great. So that leads yeah, me the, to the, believe. The CGI on his face, I would not say is great, but I almost didn't care because he's an Andrew or a synthetic. But that's I why I don't think care. you need to maybe make an Andrew, maybe make a puppet then. Like, it just was really bad deep fakes at certain points. Like, obviously terrible deep fakes where, like, the mouth, the chin wasn't, like, lining up. That's what really killed me. But then there were some further back shots like that were more dimly lit that looked great. And that leads me to believe that he was in this a bit less than he originally or or, or actually ended up being. Like maybe that was a studio note to be like, hey, we want to see more Rook and you need to prepare more scenes. Because like, again, certain scenes, he looks fantastic. Right, because all all it is is like this computer screen shot of his face. Exactly. You can can imagine it kind of like, hey, like we can whip this up. And and that doesn't look bad at all, actually. We can do a reshoot or something. It's more when you're seeing him in person where I'm just like, this is really rough for me. Uh, But yeah. So Alien is at a high again. And I would say same with uh, Alien's distant cousin, Predator, with Prey. Definitely. You know? Um I I've, do you feel like we need a sequel to Romulus, or do you just want another Alien and kind of see where that takes us? I'm what? a little afraid that with the success of this, Ridley Scott's gonna be like, I want to do my trilogy, finish my trilogy. I wouldn't I mean, mind that. I wouldn't I would either. Mi- I wouldn't mind that. But yeah. I think you run the risk of then everyone being like, "What the fuck is this?" Again, you know what I mean? You I just mean, he was Ridley Scott was a producer on this. He oh, wasn't, definitely. He was like involved. he was involved. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's and not like it's not like this is like, hey, this is Alien without Ridley Scott and it's good. No, he was he was definitely involved. In the making of this movie, um, I feel like getting Fetty Alvarez back to do another one, and I really don't think we need to see these characters again. But I think doing another Alien is obviously. Good. I think Alien always needs to be a thing. I think Alien is a, Alien and Predator are both like very good horror sci-fi franchises that have had lows and had highs. Like you know, both of them I think mm-hmm. are you know it's funny. I feel like people. Because I think we Aliens had an a- has more highs. Because we had an AVP, Alien vs. Predator, they're they're very, like, simpatico. For sure. But, like, yeah, like, I can't think about with one without the other. And, you know, I don't I don't know if we'll ever get another AVP. That would be pretty wild. But I think that would could be cool. I'm not saying I, I need that, but, like, I wouldn't be, like, totally dismissive of I don't think it's out of the question at all. Yeah. Especially with Dan Trachtenberg's working on Badlands right now, the next Predators movie. And we so. are getting an Alien... Um, aliens earth show on fx yeah yeah so that's that's like the furthest in back in the timeline i think it's like a few years before prometheus interesting like what is that about then i don't know i think it has a trailer does it but it's a thing interesting yeah interesting yeah i don't know aliens it has up and downs like you said uh i know people aren't the biggest fan of like I think that not that they're the biggest fan. I think they just become very samey, especially with the first four. Like I said, it's, right? It's, I mean, I I mean, but look at Prey too. Prey was like, did we review that? No, no, we didn't. No, yeah. yeah. Um, Prey kind of was like, let's Predator in Native American. That was awesome, and they and I, Predator in Native American. You Predator in Native American, <laughs> but like I think like the narrative for Prey was much better because it was a much more character focused story, whereas. Aliens is there's an unso- there's a group right there's like an actual group and it's you know it's it's a bit different. Sure, I think to a degree. I think there's actually less narrative almost in Prey because it's just like no, it's this like personal like it's just her kind of taking down the predator. But right, but she is, she's on like a journey. Sure, yeah. Uh, maybe I'd put them at equal levels for me myself. Then I don't think Ra- like Rain is on a journey, but it's like a group journey. Like they're. All trying to do the same thing. Like, yeah, I guess I feel like it's very much squarely about Rain and Andy, Amber though. Midthunder's character in Prey is like trying to like prove herself to her tribe. Sure, different t- different types of stories for sure. Yeah. Uh, I don't know though, Gucci. Anything else? I'm trying to think. Did you answer my question? I asked you. What was the question about? Just the the what would you want to see? Oh, um, I think you did. I, I I might not have. Yeah, I was like I was like I was gonna say I started talking. Let me answer my Yeah, impression. I mean, I would love to see more of this, of course. I think, you know... But sequel or just another alien? Well, I think they're all... I guess just another alien. They're all kind of just... It's weird, because like the first mm. four are more direct sequels, sequels in the way of like they're just following Rit, like her in a new spot. Uh, 
Okay. But so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, I'd actually kind of like to see maybe Ridley Scott just finish off the Prometheus stuff. Yeah. But that you do run the risk of of tainting the well for the then next alien after that. But I, I don't know. I, I really don't. Uh, just give me some fucking answers, okay? I like the ambiguity of the lore. Uh, Gooch, you know me with my ambiguity. I, I'm up I for some it's ambiguity. Cool. It's, 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 it's interesting. You know? I just want a bit more. Like, I love the engineer stuff and the space jockey shit. Like, it's just, I just find it very interesting. I, I Like, it doesn't all need to be explained, but I like how they're explaining some of it, but, like, not enough to, like, satisfy you, and it keeps you, like, interested. But I just don't even know mystery. if it's, like, anything. I feel like, like there's a mystery in Alien as a as a character, so I think there need, like, not everything can be revealed. Well, but that's not, and I don't even think that was the point of these stories before, like, Prometheus and stuff like that. It was it was a scary movie, and there was these crazy monsters. Sure. Whereas, like, I mean, now with the Prometheus stuff, it definitely has leaned into, like, the origin and of I these things. I feel like the and, Predator is more the opposite like i don't like i think there's lord of the predators but they're not like that mysterious they're 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 fucking predators like, i would say we know less about the predators than aliens. for sure but like we know like what they're like we know their deal yeah they're you know, they're here to hunt and then if they right. lose they're sore losers and kill you so it's right. okay yeah. yeah like like i don't think it like there's not this big like where do they come from like there's just, just aliens but who i have, think like, that that's only because ridley scott has made this thing with like he instigated that. Like, I don't think people were thinking about that before Probably, Prometheus. No. You know what it I was mean? A, it was an action movie with with a, these with like horror. weird, crazy monsters in it. And <gasps> I think yeah. that Ridley Scott has leaned into it, has made it that way, which is fine. I I think that's one of the more interesting parts. But like, I mean, predators apparently uh, autistic people are the next stage in evolution. So that's they're trying don't. to remember. We reviewed that. <laughs> that I was, was so. Funny. I that was. It was just me. It was just me just, getting. <laughs> So annoyed. I was very disappointed with that movie. Yeah. Ugh. Just awful. Terrible. Oh my Anyways, God. anything else, Gooch? No, that's it. Um, I think that does her. Ending the summer movie season on two good notes with Deadpool Wolverine Absolutely. and Alien Romulus. Yeah. Great, great way to doing, go out. And doing what, pretty successfully, too. What else is even coming out this year? Don't say Craven. I mean. <laughs> I, I think he's, it is. He's going. Yeah, um, but I, I was trying to think. I was like, I, I think um, my cousin Mike was like, "What's coming out the rest of the year?" And I'm like, "You know, man, I don't even know." Like, and I looked at a release schedule, and I'm like, "I don't like nothing." Like, S- no Sonic Three. I'm trying to see, like, the rest of the year. I'm really talking. Yeah, that's so what I'm, I'm. I'm looking at right now here. Uh, like, what what movie do we have at Christmas time coming out? Like, I don't even think I know. I'm on like not too long ago right now. It's, there's not like a very easily streamlined way of looking this up, and I hate it because it's like showing all these like. Because I, I feel like your like Oscar movies just kind of come out of nowhere. Definitely, I mean, there's like, like kinds your, of your kindness, which is like and... that. That's your ghost, same guy who did uh, poor things. It, uh, it, it, I, I didn't kinds like of that kindness. Movie. You ever watch that? No, I heard. I remember you talking about it. Didn't like it. Yeah, I've I've yeah. heard very much I didn't uh, like it. mixed reviews. But anyway. Jorgos Lathamos or something is the guy's name. Uh, yeah, they're doing. It's called Kinds of Kindness. It's with Emma Stone again. Um, and Defoe, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and ugly. No, it's Nosferatu this year. I think so. Which I would actually like to review if we if we can get to it. Um, but we shall see. And uh, there's there's definitely some more Venom: The Last Dance, seminal. Uh, <laughs> That's not this year though, isn't it? I thought it was October. Oh my god, I think you're right. I thought it was Venom. Oh no. Venom. Oh god. The last oh dance. Christ. Dude, aren't you ready for Venom Horse? <laughs> Come on, dude. October 25th, bro. <laughs> It'll be the end of the, the, Venom, the, the, the Venom trilogy. Deadpool and Wolverine aside, this has probably been the year of some of the worst comic book films ever. We're going to have that and Craven and Madam Web in the same year. That's nuts. Do you think Craven's going to be worse than Madam Web? No. I don't think so either. No. I, 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 I think it's hard to beat Madam I think it's Web's hard to, terribleness. Will I have more fun with Madam Web? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I, we had some fun with Madam We Madame just Web. had a good time. In that. It's, it's, it's tough for me to disconnect the, our theater experience from the movie. It's just, it was a good time with an awful movie. Uh, but yeah, Venom and the Last Dance, October 25th. Be sure to look out for our hot take. Um, Ellie Ramos, where, where are we putting it on the, the scale? Real quick. We always forget sometimes. Oh, oh, I think it's always. Uh, I would. I'm like I'm 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 teetering on movie to film. I, I think th- it's a film. I think it's a low tier film, top tier movie. I'm gonna stick though with low tier film. I'm with you. All right, low tier film. I was leaning on my back too much. 
Uh, I like it. Yeah, I think that's a good place to stick. Yeah. Uh, All right, fantastic. Well, thank you all so much for watching with us. If you've been with us live on twitch.tv slash Delco Nerd Network, we really appreciate your time. You can find this podcast anywhere podcasts are found. Just search Delco Nerd Network on your platform of choice. We have a Facebook page, Discord channel. All that good stuff will be linked down below. You can even find us on all the social media pages at Delco Nerds on basically with an at sign. Uh, you can find all this information on our website, DelcoNerdNetwork.com. You can even email us your comments, questions, or concerns to DelcoNerds at gmail.com. We'd be happy to get back to you. But for Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy. We will see you next time. Mm-hmm.